My Lord, as a younger generation in the struggle, we sing the songs those who came before us sang to put ourselves in the position they were before. And like we said, our songs are not in any way meant to engage in any literal uh, engagement. They are songs for that purpose of the revolution, not to attack anyone. My Lord, from the times of Shaga Zulu until today, I've never heard that black people were given instruction to attack through song. I'm still to wait for example where the masses of our people were given an instruction through song to go and attack. My Lord, the EFF was formed in 2013. This song was sang way before the formation of the EFF. And to say people are being killed because of an EFF song, as if this is in the founding manifesto of the EFF, it's bizarre. It's the, this, is, this is the interesting thing that you do, is you try and create a straw man to say it's not our song. We didn't drive this song, we didn't recover saying this song. But you sing it now. Yes. You have embraced this song. It's part of your But you song. call it EFF song. Is it not an EFF song? It's a struggle song. Is it a song sung by the EFF? My Lord, the EFF cannot expropriate this song without compensation. It belongs to the struggle. It's a struggle song. There is a saying, Yaori, when you steal a car and you pass over the car to the stolen car to your children, it makes that child a criminal as well because it's in possession of stolen goods. And that child passes that car or doesn't even pass that car. He sells that car to go and buy another car with the money of stolen goods. It remains a stolen good, the property you bought, uh, with the money stolen, uh, I mean, got from a stolen uh, goods. You are in possession of stolen property. Return it, please. Your parents have left you a very bad name. And don't blame it on us. But I asked a question earlier. Reparations are paid. Why have the name that I have? that my grandparents fled Nazi Germany and sought refuge in South Africa in the 30s to avoid extermination. Now the witness has brought up my name and I, I will use the opportunity to respond to I never you. brought your name. You I never brought your name. I've never brought your name. I've never brought Oppenheimer's name. I don't even know his, his name. I don't know. I've, I've never, my Lord, called him by name. I've always referred to him as you, you, and I clarified it that I'm referring to a client. When I say your name, I mean them as white people. Your parents have left you a bad name. So that is the context I'm using it. So please, if you are going to be a legal representative, you are going to have to reduce yourself from this case individual, as an individual. Remove your emotions and deal with me as a professional. Because if you are going to come to me as a personal person, individually i will no longer look at you as a professional i will decisively deal with you as an individual i'm going to be president of this country whether you like it or not and i will preside over the affairs of this country including presiding over you i think you must start adjusting to that reality the sooner you do that the less chest pains you'll have when that reality comes what chest pains would result racist chest pains you know, my Lord, we, we, we're sitting here with pain, with trauma, and to be interrogated by people like this, who perpetuate the segregation, who continue to promote racism in this country, it's really unfair. Thousands of children have seen their mothers being tortured. I was young, when police walked into my mother's house, and she was sleeping, they took off her blankets off. Men, she was not dressed up. She was sleeping. Men took off her blankets. I live with that for the rest of my life, that some strange men came into my house and took off the blankets of my mother to search if she's not a terrorist. 
we are still a traumatized nation if you don't know and that trauma is real and don't push us to that pain because when that day comes we'll not be scared i've litigated with afro forum and roots before and they've never brought someone so weak as you i think they've done the worst disservice to them themselves let me tell you every time we say white settlers white people white settlers in south africa it is in that context so why would an american who came yesterday my lord be a settler we're talking here about white settlers why would a russian who came yesterday be a settler is there, is there... you understand very well the context within which we say all white people are racist it is in 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 relation to the struggle of liberation in south africa against apartheid system that benefited all white people so who is a white settler all those who came here to come and conquer south africa and take the land from our people when? are white settlers when? from since 1652 up until when up until we took our freedom so political freedom in 1994 white settlers everyone from 1652 up until the time of political power, is that right? Yes, 1994. Now I'm asking you about people after that date. Those who inherit the property stolen from us are criminals. So if you come from America with an intention to come and inherit a stolen property, you are a criminal. If it was the case that just one person was going to be influenced to murder someone, after hearing you chant, kill the farmer, kill the boy. It's a hypothetical case. If someone was to be influenced in that way, would that be a reason for you not to send this No, not at all. Anyone who engages in the killing of anyone because of my chant will not be influenced by my chant. That person will be driven by criminal uh, mentality. It's an act of crime because my chant it's not a command. It's exactly what it is. If I were to give that command, I will give it openly, unashamedly, without hiding my face. So there is no anyone who claims that he got a command through a song, that person will be acting out of their own sheer criminality and not because they've got a political motive. You are a bad lawyer, Shem. Uh, it goes without saying. You are a bad lawyer.